First of all, I really don't like to have my work described using the word immortality, because immortality for me, it's, you know, it's already got a definition, which is the um, elimination of any chance of death from any cause, and that's not what I work on. I work on the elimination of one particular cause of death, which is aging. Um, I don't even work on the longevity aspect of that. I'm just interested in health. I'm interested in stopping people from getting sick when they get old. And of course, the longevity would then be a side effect of that. When did I get fascinated by it? Well, actually, not until my late 20s. And the thing is that it wasn't that I discovered something about aging that I didn't know and I became you know, committed to it that way. It was that I discovered something about aging that other people didn't know. I had always gone through my life knowing that aging was the world's most important problem, the thing that causes the most suffering. But I had assumed that everybody else thought the same. And it was only in my late 20s, after I had married a biologist, that I you know, talked to her a lot, that I began to realise that she didn't think that ageing was particularly interesting or particularly important. And in fact, the other biologists that I was meeting thought the same way. And I realised that in fact, almost everybody had just kind of put ageing out of their minds and they had started to say that it's some kind of blessing in disguise. And I was completely astonished by this. It took a couple of years for me to really believe that this could possibly be true. Um, but eventually, after I did, I was in a very lucky situation at, where I had an undemanding job, so I was able to switch fields to create a whole new career for myself in my spare time, basically. Yes, um, I tried to convey to uh, students uh, this thought that uh, uh, death is uh, uh, an idea, it's a description. And, uh, we are all victims of the description. Then the death is, uh, is something that uh, exists only for those who identify with it. But if you stop identifying with, uh, let's say, with the outer world, with uh, all that happened in the outer world, and you understand that you are the, the one who is protecting whatever you see and touch, then you will see that, that uh, that the death, as uh, many other uh, events in, in the world, are just a projection of what you are inside. Then if you intervene on yourself, and you know how to transform some deaths that happen within yourself, you will see that the description of death 